What's going on everybody? My name is Alonso. Welcome back to the channel. If you're here watching my videos, it's probably because you want to build something like this. Tree nuts are really cool and all, but before you get ahead of yourself and just start building a tree net in your backyard, I want you to slow down. Now, I know that may seem a little bit backwards because on this channel I teach everything weaving and tree weaving and things like that, but the reason I want you to slow down is because once you do certain things to your trees, like start to put a permanent structure around them, there's no going back without having to destroy your precious creation and all of the time that you put into that, you can just never get back. So one thing I really recommend for everyone trying to learn how to build tree nets is to practice first in a safe environment where you can practice over and over and over again and you're not gonna actually destroy the things you're working on. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to practice weaving from absolutely anywhere. And I mean anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're on a plane or if you're on a train or if you're over there or if you're over here. I got me going like Dr. Seuss. Anyway, I'm gonna teach you how you can practice weaving anywhere. And this is actually especially useful to those of you that don't have big trees in your backyard where you can just go out and weave. Like, for example, here in our backyard, we don't have any big trees. So if I wanted to weave something or practice for a project that I was planning to do somewhere else, I just can't really do that unless I get creative. Anyway, with all that being said, let's get started. But before we do that, Two things. One, if you're enjoying my content and watching a lot of my videos, do me a quick favor, you're already here. Really quickly hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss on when I post new weaving videos and like this video. It helps the algorithm, helps get my videos out there and I really appreciate you for it. So go ahead and do that real quick and thank you so much. Secondly, once again, I'm going to be giving Paracord away to two lucky subscribers so that you guys can practice weaving from your own home or really wherever you'd like. So stick around to the end of the video so you can find out how to win some free Paracord. Anyway, let's actually get started now. So there are really two ways you can practice weaving from the comfort of your own home or wherever you are. The first way is Definitely the easiest way, so we're gonna start with that first, and you only need one, technically two things in order to do that. So here's what you'll need. The first and most obvious thing that you're going to need is some paracord. Now this is 550 paracord, uh, nylon of course, because polyester doesn't do as well in the sun. Now if you want some Paracord at a discounted rate, go check out paracordgalaxy.com and use my code TREENET and they're gonna give you 10% off and they'll hook you up. So go check out their website. They have a ton of really cool colors and options that you can choose from. And then the second thing you're gonna need is anything with a kind of weaving surface. Now, I have a stool here and we use these here in our kitchen. And you can see here that I can weave in so many different areas on this thing, just even practicing. Like I could weave this little block here. I could use this upside down and weave on these four legs here. I could really do lots of different things with this. And this is really nice because I can completely cover this in paracord and then simply just undo the paracord to reuse that paracord for another practice. And really what you can do with this and one of the big reasons why you wanna practice on something like this before you take it outside is because if you mess up here, it's not a big deal, but if you mess up outside, you're gonna get really frustrated and it's not gonna be a good time. So basically what I'm saying is make sure you enjoy weaving and know what you're doing before you go outside and put it on a large scale project. Otherwise, you can hire me to do it for you. Self plug. The idea, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through this uh, in depth because I have other weaving videos. But the basic idea, you're just gonna take some paracord, and like I said, I'm not gonna really go through this in depth or anything. But you take your paracord, 
And really just practice all your hitches and your knots. Like there's a clove hitch right there. I'm gonna do another clove hitch right here. And then another one right here. And you can see we're kind of just like playing with it, right? Because if this was my first time weaving, I'm gonna figure out what feels good, what feels hard, what I need to work on, and pretty much things of that nature. Basically, now that we've got a perimeter here and these are all pretty tight, we could then start just kind of coming in and like doing a little bit of weaving, you know, like just really trying to figure out how patterns work and things like that. Nothing crazy, right? We're just kind of playing here. Really just going with the flow of things. So here's a very basic idea of what weaving could look like if you're doing it in your living room under a chair like this. And it allows you to practice so that you don't go, and you know, I know I sound like a broken record here, but it allows you to practice so you don't go outside and mess up your trees that have been growing there for probably many, many, many years. Really think about the damage you can do before you go out and do it. With that being said, let's move on to method number two. And method number two is used when you don't have anything that you could weave on. Let's say, let's say you don't own any chairs with legs on them or anything with like an open space where you could weave or practice weaving. Let's just say you have absolutely nothing in your home that you can use to weave. Here's what you're gonna do. You are going to run to your local Home Depot or Lowe's, whatever it is you have, and you're gonna spend about $20 to buy one of these two by twos. This is an eight foot long two by two. The material really doesn't matter because you're just practicing. It doesn't need to have like all the right strength properties or anything like that. And then you're also going to get yourself a handsaw, which is also like another $10. So I bought this piece of wood for $8 and I just Googled what handsaws cost and you could get those for as cheap as $5. So for as low as $13, you can practice weaving inside your own home. Now you are going to take this table saw and you're going to cut this piece of wood into two foot sections. So we're gonna cut it into four two foot sections and then we're just simply going to screw those sections together. You could nail them together. Uh, it doesn't matter, just hold them together in some way to make a wood box. And I think the rest of that is pretty self-explanatory. If you want to make a little table out of it with some legs, you can buy more two by two and you can do that. But anyway, I don't own a handsaw, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but let's go cut this piece of wood and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But before I do that, I really quickly want to explain why I picked two feet for my leg lengths. First of all, if we look at this thing that I weaved in the previous part of the video, these legs are about one foot apart. And you can see that I didn't really get very much practice on this one because it was so short. So it'd be kind of a pain in the butt to just weave this foot, do it really quick, and then have to undo it to do it again. So the bigger the space you've got, the more you're gonna actually be able to practice and reach that flow because that's what's really cool about weaving is that after you've passed the bumpy parts of the weaving, you hit this flow state where Time is just passing on and you don't even realize it because you're so in the zone and weaving. And I find that you just can't hit that if you're weaving for like two minutes and then you're done. So I recommend a little bit bigger of an area and that's why I was saying two feet is good, but I think even a foot and a half would be good enough. Just make sure that if you're gonna make a weaving practice square, you don't make it smaller than a foot and a half on each side. Anyway, let's go cut this piece of wood and we'll be right back. Here we go. We've just cut out our pieces and now all you're going to need is a drill. And don't worry if you don't have a drill, a nail and a hammer method works just as well. And we're gonna put them together like a picture frame. Now, I'm no like woodworker or whatever, but if you put the screws in directly without pre-drilling a hole first, you might get your wood to crack like I did here. 
So make sure you do a pilot hole through your wood first. When you're doing nails, doesn't make a difference, but I'm just going to finish putting this together and then I can show you how much better it is to weave it in a square like this than it is to be doing it in something tiny like that. So let's do that. And now you've got a very professional square here. That's a joke. This is far from professional. It just has to be super good enough for you to weave in it. But anyway, now you can practice weaving in this square. Let's just demonstrate a little bit of weaving. I'm not gonna weave here for a whole hour, but let's just demonstrate a little bit what it would look like so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, so here's our square. Here's a piece of cord. I'm just gonna weave one piece of cord into here real quick. So then what we end up with is a very poor rough draft of what a weave should look like. So here you have it. And uh, honestly, this is, I think, a really good way to practice at home. The only thing I would change to this specific model is that I would put some like one to two foot tall legs on it so that I can put it on the ground here and just work on it much easier here without having to to dangle with it the way I did. So now before we go, let's really quickly give some paracord away. So I'm going to be giving paracord to two lucky subscribers and there are two things you can do to get entries into this giveaway. The very first thing you need to do, as if that wasn't obvious enough, is obviously subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment down below what your favorite weaving tip has been from me so far, and that'll automatically put you into the giveaway. Now, if you want additional entries, go check out our Instagram. I'll put that here on the screen. And on our latest post or reel, go down below and tag your friends. Now you can get unlimited entries on Instagram, so tag away, I'll do all the counting. And in two weeks time on our Instagram story, we will announce the winner. So make sure you also follow us on Instagram and best of luck to everyone out there. I hope you win some free paracord so you can make some artistic squares in your living room as well. By the way, this one is selling for 2.4 million. Let's start the bidding there. If anyone would like to up it, please feel free to DM me. I'm just kidding. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe down below and share this video to some of your friends that might also find it helpful. I really appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you guys on the next video.